everybody, how's it going? I'm Groovy Lava Squirrel Medic, and welcome back to another GBHR Groovy's Brutally Honest Reactions. And this week, we're doing Ice Nine Kills. We just finished the first video, which was The American Nightmare, which was a play on Freddy Krueger and Nightmare on Elm Street. And this one is, thank God it's Friday, and I'm guessing Friday, Friday the 13th probably, because all of theirs are based off of horror movies from the past. And I'm super excited for it. So make sure to like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff because we're going to continue to push to 100,000 by the end of the year. Hopefully y'all can join us and go along uh, with us and enjoy the videos as much as we do. Um, and also, if you have other bands you would like me to react to, leave in the comments down below. Uh, they have to have like a good uh, foundation. Like, Don't send me a band that has like two songs because... I'm not going to be able to make a week of it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there will be weeks uh, coming up that I'm going to say, okay, this is like 90s week or in the 2000s, like one hit wonder, stuff like that. But for right now, we're focusing on bands that we can make it a whole week out of. So hopefully you'll join me on this. But today, thank God it's Friday. I'm super excited. The first song was hard as hell. It was good. And there is a narrative storyline, so I'm super excited to see where they take this. Uh, the last one, they had the therapist talking to uh, Spencer, uh, the singer of the band. And he was talking about he had dreams about some girl that's dying in her sleep and dying when she's alive, just like Freddy Krueger. But this one is, thank God it's Friday. I'm super excited. So we're going to go ahead and get our headphones on. Oh, snap, it's so good. And then we are going to get it brought up. So here we go. So Ice Nine Kills, Thank God It's Friday, official music video. I'm excited. You're excited. Three, two, one. Let's rock. Thanks, Gene. It happened here late last night. Seven mutilated bodies found strewn about the 300-acre Texas campground behind me. An idyllic summer setting turned to tragedy a mere 24 hours after children went home for the season. Authorities are baffled by the lack of... So it sounds like recovered Friday the 13th. Machete ...with no discernible fingerprints. Reporting live from San Antonio, I'm Roy Merck. I live in San Antonio. Back to you, Gene. <laughs> Jumped again! Welcome back, Spencer. Take a seat. How's the tour been so far? Texas was pretty cool. We went to San Antonio. I tried to piss on the Alamo, but we ran out of time. I'm trying to do like an Aussie thing, you know? <laughs> the sense there's a buck coming. Well, the dreams are still there. Even with the diazepam? Yeah. It lasted for about. A week, I want to say, but then as soon as the tour started... Is the same imagery as before with the girl? No. Well, the girl is there, but there's another girl who looks a lot like your colleague, Dr. Stonebridge. And now I'm in the dream, and my band is too. That's an interesting chain. What are you doing? It's really weird, but we're all camp counselors and we're shutting down this camp because it's the end of the season. And we start to hear these voices, voices from dead counselors of the past, ghosts really. And they're telling us, or warning us rather, that death is coming. He's a serial killer, man. So they're doing like the the Jason sound the kill 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 ka 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 kill 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 kill. I like it, man. I how do they get away with this? How do they get away with the copyright and all that stuff from like the intellectual property? Like I love this. Brings me back to the day of watching scary movies when I was a kid. Love it. Oh, 
Okay, so you know he was going to die because one, he is following horror movie tropes. He's smoking, which you're not supposed to smoke, just like you can't do drugs. You also can't have sex. He wasn't having sex, but he pulled his dick out to pee. So there you go. Automatic, you know somebody's going to show up behind you and kill you. They're going off in the woods by themselves. You know what that means. Kill, 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 kill. I mean, there's no way he's Jason. I mean, look how big that guy is. So it can't be him, right? Oh, they got away. Well, that's real improvement, isn't it? I mean, all of the protagonists survive this time. Well, I didn't finish the story yet. Go on. Okay, so his dreams are coinciding with people that are dying in real life. Well, so is he a killer? It's not exactly the soothing kind of story that helps with uninterrupted sleep now, is it? No, it isn't. Spencer has great hair. Get Dr. Stonebridge to up my dosage of diazepam? Just to get through the tour, maybe? I haven't had a full night's sleep in a week now. 
Well, Spencer, as much as that may seem like the solution, it, it, it's better to get to the bottom of what's causing the anxiety rather than to use these drugs. They can be highly addictive, you know. This is true. Did the dream start when you sought out Dr. Michelson two years ago? And what was going on then? It goes a lot further back than that. Really? How far? Since I was a little kid. Hmm. Interesting. And does your childhood stand out as being the source of the anxiety? Oh, is no, there going to be a video I mean, about his childhood? Had a pretty normal upbringing. Nothing special. Nothing crazy. Nothing really sticks out. Are we doing okay on time? Looks like we're almost at the one hour mark. Well, sure, but I have well, plenty I don't want to do that. Time. It's not fair to go over. I'm recording in LA next week. It's not fair. So let's say the week after that, and then we could sort of get to the bottom of this. Take it from there. Fair enough. Well, why don't you just see Karen on the way out, and we'll set up a time for us to get to the bottom of this, okay? Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Spencer. See you in two weeks. Knock, knock. You know you're supposed to knock on the outside of the door. H hypothetically speaking, what are my responsibilities to law enforcement? You know, if I believed one of my patients may actually have killed someone. Well, we can go to law enforcement if the patient has specifically said that they had or planned to commit a murder. But he didn't but do any of that. But short of an outright admission, what is discussed is between patient and doctor confidentiality either way. That's a really specific question, Ian. I mean, should we go to counsel or? Dude, I mean, not at all. It was purely a hypothetical question. Only intellectual, in fact, you know. It's, uh... Oh shit, is he, he's bugging him too? Salad. <sighs> oh man, where is it going from here? All right. So, Einstein kills Thank God's Friday. One, I am loving the story. Like, I'm actually getting absorbed into it. I'm like, okay, what? I'm trying to figure it out like I try to do with every scary movie I watch. I'm like, who's the killer? What's going on? blah blah, blah. But the music video, like, to be able to tie songs to a movie that's already, it's already scripted. Everybody knows these movies. And to, like, be able to bring it all together and tell a story all your own. I I love that. I love the song. It's heavy. Uh, and it's got great uh, cinematography, visuals and stuff. And I think it's just going to get better. Because this was from... How long ago was this? This was five years ago. And they, they have blown up a lot bigger since then. So I'm super excited to see where it goes. So next is going to be a grave mistake. So look out for that one because I'm going to film it as soon as I'm done with this one. And we'll put those out today. But uh, make sure to like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I'm going to get out of here. So from Groovy Lava Squirrel Minute, that's me to you. I love you. I thank you. And we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one, guys. Bye.